What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, bam. We're gonna talk about the Level Mate Pro and I know you guys saw that thumbnail, airbags. Uh, this sort of is going to come into play with both of uh, the, these objects. You'll need this object and obviously if you're watching this, you already have airbags. Okay, so uh, excuse the noise guys. We got someone over here watching a, a little toy story. But, so a lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, you know, I got airbags, but how do I know this thing's level besides, you know, measuring it? Because obviously some loads are going to be different. For an example, if you have, you know, your toy hauler, uh, fifth wheel, on the tractor, dump trailer, whatever you got, you know, uh, here's a perfect example. So when I take this to the desert, obviously it's going to squat my truck more than if I take that dump trailer right over there. And stay tuned. Wait till you see my solar power dump trailer. I'm not done with that. That will be on the other channel, the Eddie's Product Review channel. Don't forget, if you're not following that channel, go follow the new channel, Eddie's Product Review. That's going to be all about voltage, like electrical. Uh, if you want to like current, volt meters, solar panel, batteries, lithium iron phosphate, all that stuff. Um, so this is what we're going to do. Now, for this, let me put this down so I'm not carrying it. What you guys, and I understand, so what's difficult is you don't want to sit and measure. Obviously this, when you're towing something, if you're towing only one thing, you know, okay, when my bags are at 40, 50, 60, 20, whatever it is, PSI, it's this level. So this device, guys, check it out. This is what I got. This thing, it's called Level Mate Pro. I used to have this in the ding ding over here because I never had any leveling jacks. And now that this thing has auto level and leveling jacks, I don't need this no more. So I thought, hmm, how can I use this? Well, this is what we're gonna do, guys. So this device tells you if you're level or not. Now, obviously, if your truck is on, you know, something like this concrete floor, or you're hooking up and you're on a slope like that, it's not gonna tell you your level. Here's the good thing about this device, and I'll show you on the phone when we hook it up and figure out where we're gonna put it, but this thing, you can adjust anything you want on it, and you'll be able to know that, okay, you know, when I'm driving this thing, you'll be able to know and familiarize yourself with the truck being level and not level, and I know it's hard to explain how I'm, I'm explaining it right now. So first thing I'm gonna do right now, uh, I got the battery in it, you just pop these four screws out right here. It's got like a little watch battery. I, th I believe battery comes with this also. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where to put this to give it easy access. Now, there is an on and off, you can hear it. Okay, that just turned on. It does have a sleep mode where I believe after an hour it turns off. So, I think though it'd be cool to set this somewhere. Maybe like, you know, if we put it, I don't know, somewhere in here, just like this. Or you can turn it on or off if you want you know obviously this has to be set somewhere where you know when you hook up a trailer the bed's doing this so you know don't put it on i don't know don't don't put it on like the axle or something guys where you know it's not gonna there's no squat or like here like this frame obviously when you go down this frame's not gonna go down so don't you know mount it right there that's not gonna work so you need to mount it somewhere where the bed, you know, the truck is actually doing this. Okay? So, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to figure out, I'm going to look some places and figure out where I want to put it. And then I'll let you know. So, I just stuck it right here with double-sided tape. You can screw it in if you want. Uh, I don't know if it's going to hold good on this, you know, material. But, I mean, we'll just set it there for temporary and uh, video purposes and see. If it holds, it holds. So, we're going to uh, turn it on right now and then make sure there you go that beeps and make sure always guys arrows are up see that it'll tell you always make sure the arrows are up and then i did take a level put this on there right there and boom you can see that bam we're nice and level now we're going to go to the app right over here it's called level mate pro okay now we need to set it so it's gonna tell you what side is this thing on driver side um oh wow well, that's pretty might be level we're gonna see but uh driver side also it's nice we got a battery indicator here so you'll know how your uh battery is so we're gonna go to the settings 
it is on inches see that right there Fahrenheit so driving side of the road it's not on the right it's on the left so we're gonna go to the left Vehicle setup, travel trailer, uh, fifth wheel, travel trailer. So, I, you know, I don't think this really matters. All that matters is probably arrows up and this being on the left side. Um, I, I don't, you know, I don't see why this would really matter. So we'll save that now that it's on the left. Okay, vehicle width and length. So for the truck, I'm going to go measure the vehicle width and I'm going to measure the length. And then we will see um, what uh, those numbers are. Level Mate Pro settings. So label faces passenger side. That is correct. The label is, is label faces driver side. Nope. Label faces front, rear. No. Label faces passenger side. So that is that right there. And then I just thought of something real quick here. Driving side of the road is not left, guys. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Why did I do that? No idea. It's right, so we're gonna save that. What What was I thinking? Why don't you guys say something before I did that? Driving side, I thought this meant which side is this on, left or right? So, driving side of the road. We drive on the right side of the road here. Okay, little travel trailer. And you know, vehicle with, I don't think this really matters either, but I'll just put it in there correctly um, and go from there, label faces. And this label is faces passenger side see that so that is the label right there obviously that's passenger side um idle time so right here uh you can uh can you you're supposed to be able to change it oh there we go oh i think out uh, so hours yes yeah, minimum one okay so that's all you can change right there wake on motion Reverse front view. Okay, so measurement guys right here. Let me go, whoops, back so I don't have to deal with this. So the uh, measurement is how off do you want it? Do you want it literally to literally be perfect where, you know, you can be off by, you know, um, a quarter, you know, three quarters, half, whatever you want. And then right now, since my truck, you know, this is pretty much how it drives, it's, it's done. You can set the level. So I'm gonna go measure this real quick and then I will set the uh, level of the truck. Okay guys, so my truck is 76 inches uh, wide and in length is about 245 inches long. So just over 20 feet. Um, labels facing the passenger side, we got that. Hours of runtime is going to be one hour. Reverse front view, no. I'm gonna do it at 0.25 and that's it. So what we're gonna do now you see how this is saying, you know, this is all jacked up because it was set for the toy hauler. So we're going to go to that settings. We're going to go right here, set level. Update level, yes. Current level is set. So now, if we go back, it's saying here, hits position. We're going to set that. So now, when you hook up a trailer, you know, and say you are in your driveway, and this thing, obviously we don't care the left to right uh, because we're not, you know, we have no control. We got no jack, so we can't do anything left to right. Oops. Um, you can go here also, but again, you know, like I said, we're not doing this for left and right. We're mainly paying attention to right here, the rear and the front. So when this thing drops, I don't know, say an inch and a half or something, then you know, pump your airbags until this thing goes to zero. And that's letting you know now that your truck or whatever you're doing is now set level so the truck so the way this truck sits right now sitting here in the garage it's like this sitting level this is you know if you were going to drive on the road this is it obviously you're going to have movement and stuff but at least you know now when you set your airbags you set it level and then you can if you do have like the airlift that i got you can play with it you can lift a little more you can drop it and you can say you know what i like a little better you know with it down lower so you can you can play with all that stuff and this is nice because you can actually see it on here on the phone while you're driving and just leave that on and like i said after an hour it'll turn off and you'll be all done and ready to go so i know i'm going to take this trailer down do some work with it but i'll show you guys an example of that in uh, the other video and also stay tuned for the install on the uh, 
hydraulic jacks that we got installing here in the ding ding actually going to put real jacks and not the bs you know stabilizer bars but there you have it guys so for me i think this will be the best and most accurate way for you guys to be able to tell instead of having to deal with a tape measure every time pulling the tape measure out you know sitting there measuring because again you're not towing the same trailer every day some of you are so maybe some of you guys don't need it and you know um, or you're changing the weight you know sometimes there's more weight sometimes there's less weight uh, that will affect it also so i think this thing will be the best i will put the link down in the description for you guys if you would like to purchase it and if you do that's where i set it you can set it wherever you want obviously when i hook up a trailer uh the bed you know the whole truck's going to do this so that will help me be able to level it but thank you guys for watching this video that's all i got for you guys if you like this video hit that thumbs up button don't click subscribe peace yeah.